Good morning, Pastor Rudy Mosley here from Bread of Life International Worship Center, here with the promise for today. Today's promise is found in John chapter 14, verses 2 and 3, and it reads, In my Father's house are many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also will be where I am. We thank the Lord for this, this hope, this truth, this promise that Jesus went on before us to prepare a place for us. We thank God that we have this hope that in this life, this is not the only thing that we have to live for, that God has something better prepared for every one of his children. And we thank God for this truth. There's some of us who live for today. We live for the moment. We think that what we see here in this life is the only thing to live for. The truth of the matter is, if that's all we had to live for, my goodness, we would be men and women most miserable. But we thank God for the hope that we have in Jesus, that he has went on ahead of us to prepare a place for us. And there is coming a day when we will finish our race. We will finish our course. We will have a reward in heaven. The Lord said, lay not for yourselves treasures on earth, but treasures in heaven where moth and rust can't corrupt and thieves cannot break in and steal. We want to hear those wonderful words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. We want to live our lives soberly, knowing that we have an appointment with the Lord. And that's one thing that we cannot escape. We cannot ever escape that appointment, no matter how much money we have, no matter how much money we don't have, no matter how much fame or prestige or degrees that we may get. The reality is, is that each of us has an appointment with the Lord. And we thank God that once we have that appointment, those of us who have given our lives to Jesus, we know that he has a place prepared for us on the other side. I pray that you have a wonderful day. God bless you as you meditate and continue to meditate on his word. Be blessed.